So you need to be very careful when applying for the student debt relief program. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I got some more cyber news. And this was an interesting article that I ran across on bleeping computer that's dealing with the US uh, student loan debt relief program. And I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was super interesting. You guys need to be aware of what's going on. So let's hop over to the article and read a little bit about it and see what they're talking about. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so as you can see, um, it basically states the FBI uh, put out a statement basically saying that scammers likely to target US student loan debt relief applicants. And as you can see, this article was released yesterday on October 18th. Uh, but let's check this out, man, because it, it looks super interesting. Uh, I'm curious as to what exactly they're trying to do when it comes to scamming. Because based on what I know, uh, based on the research that I did on a student debt relief program, uh, the money is going to go directly to the loan. So I don't see how <laughs> these scammers are going to get away with some money other than the fact that maybe... Uh, if you paid off your student loans, uh, I heard that you should get some money back uh, since you paid off the loan uh, through this program. But let's check out this article and see for sure. And it basically states the FBI has released a warning that scammers may be targeting individuals seeking to enroll in the federal student aid program to steal their personal information, payment details, and money. So, okay, so it's three different things that they're trying to get. Uh, personal information, you know, your payment details, and money. So I'm assuming that's the money you get back if you paid off your loans. Uh, but I don't even know how they would be able to get get this information but hey they're putting out the warning so i'm assuming that it is possible for them to do this uh but it says federal student aid is a debt relief program announced uh in august 2022 that opened for applications yesterday its goal is to help student loan recipients manage their debt by wiping between 10 to 20 thousand from the credits uh depending on whether they are pell grant recipients um, now, it also says eligible, eligible individuals must have an income below 120K or a total of 250K for joint filers. And the deadline for the application is December 31st, 2023. Now, it says the program represents an opportunity for scammers to set up fraudulent websites that mimic the application form, send benefit el eligibility phishing emails or SMS, and try multiple fraud channels against people. So that makes sense. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering how are they going to get these people to, you know, give them their information? That's the most important step. You know, if you're trying to scam someone, you got to get them to bite some kind of way to give you that information that they need. Uh, so they're going to set up, according to this, they will set up a, a fraudulent website and you know those phishing emails you get just watch your emails just make sure you know it's legitimate emails and actually if you're planning on you know doing this program or uh, going through this program to get the money back for your student loan debt i recommend you just search for the student loan debt website go to it uh, i'm sure it's a dot gov just make sure it's dot gov you know what i'm saying and putting information there don't even click on a link from your email just go straight there and that's something that i do when it comes to a lot of emails even if it has nothing to do with this um i instead of clicking links on the email i'll just go directly to the site 
or let's say it's a bank email or something that popped up in my email i'll just log into the bank account directly from my phone or something and not click on any of the email links that are there um and you know that'll get me there and then a lot of times you'll see you know that the alert or something that was sent in your emails to my urgently look at something or whatever uh it's not even there you know what i'm saying so that lets you know that it's a a scam you know right there just by you know going in there you know how they send you those secure emails every now and then through the app itself and not the actual like your email address they send it through the app um a lot of times so if you don't have an email there then that lets you know it's a scam you know at the end of the day <laughs> so just take those extra steps and go check it out for yourself on their website instead of looking uh clicking on a link or something you know that'll take you to a site and it looks legit but it may not be legit so you want to you know at least take those precautions now let's read a little more but it says cyber criminals and foresters may purport to offer entrance into the federal student loan forgiveness program contacting potential victims by phone email mail uh, text websites and other online chat services and that's something that happens pretty much every single time uh we have some type of mon money that comes from the government people are gonna do this so you should be aware you know um after people getting scammed and all these other things but there there is that chance of people not know still not knowing you know that people are going to be out here trying to scam any type type of money like this um that you have to apply send your information to you're going to get phone calls and they sound you could tell it's fake you know but they try to sound like they're legitimately calling from the federal aid or whatever um but just don't get those people your information ignore the phone call hang up or something um because they're probably not gonna call you dealing with something like this they don't have a, a call center just sitting around calling millions of people that are on a list uh to see if they want to apply you know they're not gonna contact you most of the time when the government wants to give you money they're not gonna contact you and be like hey you're missing out man you know what i'm saying uh you're most likely um gonna have to apply for whatever money it is so that means go directly to their website so i want to stress that again but it says cyber, cyber criminals and fosters use these schemes to receive payment for services they will not provide or collect victims information they can then use to for to facilitate a variety of other crimes so yeah that's another thing you know if you're giving these people your information they're most likely going to try to do other things or <laughs> commit other crimes open up a credit card in your name or you know if they have your information you know or try to try to do something to that effect with your information also you know obviously sell your information on the dark web you know what i'm saying but it says there are a an estimate of 45 million of student loan borrowers in the United States collectively owing 1.6 trillion. So you guys been following that the student loan debt, you know, 1.6 trillion. That's pretty accurate. Uh, but this is the site. Uh, it says the debt relief program, real website at studentaid.gov. And that's at that point, so exactly what I'm trying to say. Just go to the directly to the website and you can just click on apply now, putting information there. It's free of charge. Um, some, there'll be people out there that's trying to charge you to submit your information, which is free of charge. Uh, so definitely ignore anything that says anything about paying money for it. And it says it right here in the next statement, uh, applying for the real federal student aid program is free of charge. So potential targets should pay attention to any request to pay for enrolling in a program or processing the application. Yeah, it shouldn't cost you anything for that. This has furthermore, the real application process does not require user to log into any accounts, nor does it ask individuals to upload any documents, per personal or financial during the first phase of the application. Now it says requests for additional information and documents will come during the next stage and the beneficiaries will be contacted from these email addresses. So no reply at studentaid.gov and no reply at 
debtrelief.studentaid.gov. So those are the official email addresses, as well as this one right here. They put this one out as well, ed.gov at public.govdelivery.com. Now it says, finally, the U.S. government will not distribute notices to program beneficiaries. Uh, so any emails, phones, calls, SMS messages pointed to pointing to alleged application forms or attempts to defraud the recipients. So, hey, that's what I said in the beginning. And I didn't even read this part before we even got to this. Uh, they don't have the time to contact you. They're not going to send you any notice. We've been noticed via, you know, um, the news, so to speak. They put this out basically saying that they were opening up this program. You can go to the official website, you know, and look at the program being put out there. You know, the president even talked about this program, you know, so that's how we were notified. So no one is going to notify you about this. Uh, you should have heard of it. So please don't respond to emails, phone calls, you know, and all that stuff, you know, pointing you to an application to fill it out. So that's the important part. You know, they don't have the time to do that. Now it says the only official way to apply is, you know, at studentaid.gov, like we just said. Uh, now it says bor borrows or advised to treat incoming communications cautiously and monitor federal student aid social media channels for updates about the program and potentially timely warnings about fraud. The FTC or Federal Trade Admission has also posted a warning about the same topic yesterday, offering tips on how to stay clear of scams. And I'm glad they're putting this information out there. Uh, and the reason I wanted to cover it uh, is because on this channel, we're always talking about getting into the tech field. We're always talking about getting the bag. And one of those ways of actually getting into the tech field is actually getting um, a degree or going to college if you want to or going to trade school if you want to so a lot of people some people end up in debt depending on you know how what your financial situation is you may end up in some form of debt uh in the past and so this is something you can take advantage of if you have debt out there uh from going to school to get into these um you know different programs or whatever cyber security programs whatever um what is something that you could take advantage of and so it's important to stay on top of uh what's going on especially if it's like scam warnings or something to that effect you want to pay attention to this stuff so you don't um you know get finessed out of some money or you know taken advantage of by uh cyber criminals but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel uh if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techy